is full of hate and wrong and sin. And sometimes it seems a Christian just can't win. Remember this, my friend, that he can do it all. Just pick up the prayer line and give the Lord a call. Just pick up the prayer line and give the Lord a call. Though Satan's got you bent by, you'll soon be standing tall. Whatever is your problem, soon it matters not at all. When you just pick up the prayer line and give the Lord a call. <coughs> when you knelt at the altar, you paid your lifetime due. The line is never busy, your call goes straight through. It's never out of service, though the storms of life may blow. It's one emergency number that everyone should know. Just pick up the prayer line and give the Lord a call. Though Satan's got you bent by, you'll soon be standing tall. Whatever is your problem, be it great or small, God always hears His children when on His name we come. Y'all pray tonight. I thank God for being in the house of the Lord. And I thank God for what I can feel tonight. Amen. I thought about everything that's been said and done tonight. and I got up this morning and when I woke, well, I've had the scripture on my mind for days. And I don't know if anybody else has any trouble finding what's on their mind in the Bible or not. Yeah. I've been in this thing for almost 20 years and I still have trouble finding it. I went to bed last night trying to hunt it out and never did find it before I went to sleep. And I prayed before I ever went to bed last night that God would just give me liberty that I could open my Bible up and find it this morning because I needed to see it, read it one more time. It had been on my mind for days. And I got up this morning and um, before we got ready to go to the barn to feed, and this scripture just still on my mind, and opened my Bible, and there it was. Amen. And that's what God said to preach on tonight. I thought about a lot of things and you pray and, and I, I listen real intent to people's prayer requests. And I try my best to pay attention. And sometimes I don't remember who said what, but I remember what was said. Amen. Amen. And I know that God hears each prayer request. Amen. And I began to hear a man about things in this life and, I, and, and I've watched a lot of things and I've seen a lot of things but I tell you what people lack in the day we live it's steadfastness Amen. people are not steadfast on what they believe they're not steadfast on what they do Amen. the bible said a double minded man's unstable in all of his ways he's tossed to and fro as the waves of the sea Amen. and he's tossed around by ever form a doctrine, amen. People don't know what they believe. Most of them will go with the crowd, amen. Because they think the crowd, the majority rules, but that's not what it's like, amen. Matter of fact, you'll find out that it gets pretty lonely at the foot of the cross, amen. There won't be very many that will live for God, amen, the way the Word of God said. I began to think about it and you pray real hard, but you can turn to 1 Samuel, amen, about the 8th chapter and I'm going to preach out that, but I've got something I want to tell you, amen. My mind began to wander as the brother was talking for prayer requests and we got to thinking about steadfastness and how the people and human beings are so weak in what they believe. Amen. And I'll give you an instance in the Word of God that come to my mind, brother. And as they began 
began to speak about steadfastness, amen. I began to see old Paul over there on the island, amen. After they come to shore, and the Bible said that he's gathering up sticks, amen. Now here's how people are, brother, and you'll see what I'm fixing to say. And the Bible said, amen, if there was a viper came out of the wood, didn't it? And it lashed on the Paul's hand. And the people was watching, amen. And they murmured again among one another. They said he must be a barbarian. And God sent a viper to slay him. Hey, man, you know what happened to the man of God? Now, this is how people are. They thought he was a barbarian when a snake beat him. But when he just shook it off and he went on and built a fire, they perceived him to be a god. Hey, man. You see, that's how quick people change their mind. They don't know what they believe. Hey, man. But praise be unto God, I've come to help you tonight. Glory to the Lamb of God. We're full of choices. That's right, brother. I heard prayer requests all over this church tonight. People making choices. Amen? I'm going to preach a little. Every more. People making a stand for Jesus. You don't hear that much anymore. And I'll tell you right now, if you'll make a stand for Jesus, you may end up holding the place. Amen? 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 If they put you out for standing for what's right, honey, God may have you on in the place before it's over with. Amen. Can I get an amen? amen. We was in Elizabeth of Tennessee, brother. Amen. And a sister was a standing, amen, for what was right, as Brother Jim was talking about. Did you know they got rid of her? The company got rid of her. Amen. Her house, amen. Her husband didn't have a job. He was sick. And they fired her for standing on the Word of God. Amen. And praise God. God impressed my heart. And I told him, I said, Brother, you tell her to keep standing. For before it's over with, she may own the place. Amen. You know what happened? Amen. Praise God. She went back in with a higher office than she had when she got me. Hey, let me tell you something. She had a little authority. Amen. She could stand. Amen. After God got done. And there wasn't a thing she could do about it. Praise be unto God. Shoo! Amen. amen. They told me I don't have any time to quit preaching in Walmart. And amen, it's going to lock me up. I said, you'll have to wait till I get done. Amen, amen. praise God. Amen. You know what you want to with me when I get done. But don't touch me while God's on me. Amen. Praise be unto God. Woo! Say you're crazy. You don't know how crazy I am. Listen. Listen. Pour it on you don't understand this thing. Do you know you were born for this day? Amen. Amen. I've told you and told you and told you why you're in this church. But it just goes over people's head and they don't even realize why you're here. Bless him, Lord. Amen. It ain't a coincidence that 50, almost 51 years ago, that a little boy was born to Mary in R.H. Lyle in Smithport, North Carolina. Honey, God had a purpose for him. He knew me before I was even conceived in my mother's womb. Can I get an amen? And I was born for this cause to stand and preach the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah, praise God. It wasn't a coincidence that you were born and God you in my life. My God, amen. Wake up! Sister began to pray back here that God had let her stay clean. Do you know what it's God's will in your life? To bless you, amen. Amen. Now we've got choices in life. I'm going to preach a little. And I'm going to, Lord God, I can't understand it. God made you a free moral agent. Amen. Amen. You want to stay clean, make your mind up. The Bible said that God will give you the sincere desires of your heart. Amen. And if you'll believe God, there ain't enough demons in hell to drag you back to that mess. Amen. Praise God. Say, preacher, you're crazy. I, I can't help it. I, I'm telling you, when you get your mind made up and get steadfast, hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Demons of hell have to get out of the way. Praise be on the cards. Woo! That's evil. 
Amen. Amen. Say, is it that easy? There ain't nothing easy about it. You think the devil and his bunch are going to make it easy on you? Nope. You might as well get that out of your mind. Amen. 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 You're in God's army now. Yep. Amen. Amen. But you're fighting on a team. It's, amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. That will win in the end. Amen. Amen. I got preach. Praise God. Shoo. This scripture's been on my mind for days. Woke up with it this morning. Got over my Bible and there it was. Amen. Hadn't read it in years. Amen. Couldn't find it, Harp. Hey man, say preacher, you're crazy. First chapter of Samuel 8, or first Samuel 8 chapter, hey amen. I'll get in the minute you better pray. I'm so excited, you can't understand it. Nothing more. People don't know what they believe. Nope. Talk to them a few minutes. They believe what the crowd tells them to believe. I told some, a bunch the other day, said, what do you think about this stuff? I said, I didn't have to make my mind up. I didn't have to wait till the United States voted on what they thought was right. On right. oh, same sex marriage. Everybody in the churches and the preachers were waiting to see what the government and what everybody else said was all right. Or the Pope, amen. If he thought it's okay or not. Honey, I didn't have to ask. I didn't have to vote. I, I had to book. Hey, glory to God. Didn't change my mind. No one did. Hallelujah. Yeah. yeah. I learned how to fight a long time ago, Petey, and it wasn't easy. I got a lot of crying, not a lot of heartache, not a lot of failing, but praise God, I am what I am by the grace of God in my flesh. It made me what I am today, amen. And praise God, hallelujah. Shoot. Thank you, Lord. I don't have to ask Brother Jerry what he believes for. I've got my mind made up. Praise the Lord. I don't have to call over all over Ash County and figure out what other preachers are preaching for. I figure out what I'm going to preach. Amen. I've had preachers come into the revival meetings and ask the pastor of the church what the church believed so they'd know how to preach. Yes. Wishy-washy bunch. Amen. Huh? So you're, you're my Lord. My God, if in the book, you want me to leave the same thing? Can I get an amen? The Bible said it's of no private interpretation. Yeah, amen. Amen. People's got a choice. You've got a choice. I'm gonna preach a little. You better pray. Bless him, Lord. I've been so tore up all day. When you called me this morning, I know you're going to call me today. Huh? Woke up this morning, you was on my mind. Pray. God started praying for him early this morning. No, he's going to call. No, without a shadow of doubt, he's going to call. People come to my mind to telephone and ring. Most of the time, we're getting hung up and I'm not telling the truth yet. Hey Amen. It was a ringing and I couldn't answer it fast enough to keep them on the line. Hey Amen. Praise be unto God. That's how good God's been to me today. Amen. And it's just been like I've had my hands. Hey Amen. In 220. And a pair of God running all over my veins. I've never had such a day. I told Brother Jeff I'm about to run away with myself. And I can't hold it. Hey Amen. Praise be unto Got my mind made up and my feet on the rock. Hallelujah, praise God. Amen. Woo! Amen. Yeah! Amen. Let the world fall apart. Amen. Got my mind made up. Amen. The Bible said he wrecks way down in the pits of hell and picked me up, set my feet on the solid rock, Amen. and established my goals. Amen. Amen. My God, look out. I made my mind up a long time ago. Amen, whether I had any friends, whether I had any family. Amen. If my wife don't want to go, that's up to her. 
Amen. But old Dave Lyle's going on the glory. Can I get an amen? I'm going. You can go with me too, amen. You don't have to stay and die and go to hell. Amen. But I've been a battle with this deception. I end up making a bunch of people mad for it's over with. Bless him, Lord. Amen. But I've had about all I can stand. I see Lord. people dying and going to hell every day, brother. I don't even have a clue why they're going, amen. Because they took somebody's word for it. Amen. Hey man, you need to get established, praise God, to where you can stand, whether the preacher's around or not. Hey Amen. Yeah. You ever notice, hey man, people will want to stand as long as the preacher's around. Yeah. What about when he ain't? Bless him, Lord. What about when he ain't? I got too much at stake, and you better pray, I'm fixing to preach. First Samuel 8 chapter, hey amen. Listen to this. I get so excited I can't hardly stand it. When I, I can see a sister and open my eyes, and there it is, my God tires me up. Amen. These things are coming. These are witness are coming. These millions of people fixing to see a picture, amen, that a fellow ain't even painted yet that's going to bring glory to God. Am I telling the truth? I'm talking about, amen, when the words began to come today in that man's shop, brother, the power of God fell. He had to stop and listen, did he not? Amen. Oh, my God. I told him, I said, let me tell you a little something about me. I said, you don't know me, but I said, we are praying about this thing. God sent your name to me and your telephone number, and here I am. Amen. But I said, let me tell you a little something about me. I said, praise God, I once was an alcoholic. And God saved my soul. I said, when he saved me, I, I want to bring glory. Amen. Now I'm preaching the gospel and letting people know it's a, anybody can have it. And I said, I want everything that's on this truck. Amen. And to glorify the name of an almighty God. Hallelujah. And the picture started coming. Amen. He ain't fighting you. He don't know what's fixing to happen. Wait till he sees it. Not only him, when he puts it on his website, there's going to be millions of people see what's fixing to happen. Amen. So you're crazy. I may be, but you watch and see what I'm telling you. Have I told you anything yet that ain't come to pass? Have I? Huh? Praise God, have I? Have I told you anything that God showed me so far that has not come? Amen. Right in this church. Amen. Some of it you don't even notice it. Some of you ain't even noticed it how many times they've come in and sat down in the house of God. Amen. Praise be unto God. I'm about to fly. You better pray. Steadfastness. Are you ready? Amen. My God. The Bible said this. Amen. This is the way human nature is. Amen. You see, I don't love the Lord because everybody else loves Him. I don't serve Him because everybody else serves Him. I don't live for Him, praise God, because everybody else is living for Him. I live for Him because He loves me. And He saved me. And He delivered me from hell. Amen. And He delivers me every day, Sister Judy, by the grace of God. How many times have we prayed and heaven's called even when we didn't deserve it? Amen. God blessed us when we lost. Amen. They look at me strange. They think I'm crazy when I tell them I ain't always been a preacher. I ain't got to tell them boys yet, brother, about running a 69 Chevelle through the living room of my dad's house and parking it on the, on the living room coffee table, amen. My dad was ashamed of me. They no doubt you could see it in his eyes, but that's what happened, amen. A 69 Chevelle Super Sport I sat in the living room, drove it all the way through, amen, to the door hinges. Praise God on the coffee table. You see, I ain't always been a preacher. Dave's been a God after me for a long time, sister. Had a purpose for me. Amen. He's got a purpose for you. Young people. Let me tell you something. God's got a place for you. Amen. God's got a place for you. 
Praise God, sister. When you get right down to business with God, He's going to give you a testimony that's going to change lives. Amen? Amen. Amen. But no matter what the devil tells you, you stay with Jesus. Amen? Amen. Praise God. Make your mind up. Amen. If you ain't already, give your life to Jesus. Dedicate it all to Him. And praise God. Watch what He can do. You see, He can't do nothing for you till you give Him liberty in your life. you got to open the door and let Him in. And when He comes in, Demons of hell's been after me for years. I can see it. I've watched things this week, sister, that you wouldn't believe. I've watched people, amen, doing good for the Lord, and they'll go to hanging around with people that they ought to be around, and the demons of hell jump on them, and the way they act even changes. Just like that, amen. 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 I'm going to preach a little bit. i got to get to this. We'll be here all night. Amen. Praise God in the 8th chapter of the 1st Samuel. The Bible said, Amen, and it came to pass when Samuel, in the first verse, and it came to pass when Samuel was old that he made his sons judges over Israel. Now the name of the firstborn was Joel, and the name of the second was Abai, Ab you pray. They were judges of Beersheba, and his sons walked not in his ways, but turned aside after lucre, amen, and took bribes and perverted judgment, amen. And all the elders of Israel gathered themselves together and came to Samuel unto Ramah, amen, and said unto him, Behold, thou art old, and thy sons walk not in thy ways. Now make us a king to judge us like all the nations. But the thing displeased Samuel, and when he said, and when they said, Give us a king to judge us. And Samuel prayed unto the Lord. Amen. Now listen to me. Amen. You can base your life on what everybody else does if you want to. Amen. You can base the way you think on filthy lucre and on the money of this world. Amen. You can make the decisions of your life to get gain and prosperity. Amen. But praise be unto God. If you walk after the statutes of God, the rewards may not be a big bank account, but it may just come in the power of God. But that's all you'll need. Amen. You see, the sons of Samuel had already given against the Word of God because they're doing just like everybody else. Yep. Yeah. That's right. Amen. Amen. And the people said, because of this, just make it, give us a king. That we'd be like everybody else. How many times have you heard that? Yes. I've had them to tell me, don't go, don't go visit my family. You'll make them mad. <laughs> you believe that? Like I'd make them mad. <laughs> sure. Hey man, that's what they told me. Don't go visit my people. You'll make them mad. I even had one lady to meet me on the street of West Jefferson after calling her family's name in church and praying for me, man, calling out for prayer requests. And she met me on the street nose to nose and she said, you better never do that again. I said, do what? She said, call my people's name out in church. She said, I don't care if you was a prayer. I don't want your name called. I said, don't worry, sister. I'll never mention her name again. In less than a week, sister, at 2 o'clock in the morning, I, I got a phone call from a sister and didn't want her people prayed for. I, hey, man, it got important about 2 o'clock in the morning I, when hell was a raging. I, she wanted somebody told I, who it was that needed prayer, Brother Arm. I, I began to call people. I, You don't have to like me and you don't have to like my techniques. But you'll find out God loves me. Amen. But don't be mean to me. Amen. Me doing God's will. you get in trouble. I'm telling you. Say, preacher, you're crazy. The Bible said to lay not your hands on His anointing, nor do His prophets no harm. Don't you realize tonight, child of God, you're part of God's anointing. Hey, man, don't you realize? Say, I'm just a child of God. They know such thing as just a child of God. Hey, man, praise God, a child of God is chosen. And picked by the God Almighty. Woo! Praise God. Woo! 
<laughs> you better pray me. I'm about to get a second win. I feel so good today, King Horstein. You know how long it's been since I felt this good? Huh? You have no idea. I, I'm just about afraid to drove Jeff crazy today, amen? You better pray just a minute. And the Bible said, amen. But the thing this pleased Samuel, when they said, give us a king to judge us, and Samuel prayed unto the Lord. And the Lord said unto Samuel, hearken unto the voice of the people in all that they say unto thee. For they have not rejected thee, but they have rejected me that I should not reign over them. Did you hear that? Yep. When you start going with the crowd, you rejected God. Amen. You turn against the prophet. You turn against the men of God. But you will not change the word of God. Amen. Amen. You don't have to live by it, but you'll face it in the last day. For the Bible said that Jesus said, I came not into the world to judge the world. Amen. But if you hear my words and believe not, I'll judge you not. But there is one that shall judge you. And that is the words that I have spoken. Can I get an amen? amen. And the Bible said when they faced him and set up on the throne of God, the books were opened. Amen. You know what the books were? The Bible said and they were judged out of the things that was written in those books. I'm holding them in my hand. It's the word of God. Amen. Now listen. I want you to listen to what happened. And the Bible said, Amen. According to all the works which they have done since the day that I brought them up out of Egypt, even unto this day, wherewith they have forsaken me and served other gods, so do they also unto thee. Now therefore hearken unto their voice, how they protest a man solemnly unto them and shew them the manner of king that shall reign over them. Now I've got news for you tonight, child of God. You make your mind up. Joshua said to the people over there in the Word of God, he said, choose you this day unto whom you'll serve. But he said, as for me and my house, We'll serve the Lord. Amen. Amen. I'm not going to change, brother, just because everybody's preaching some new age doctrine. Amen. Amen. I'm going to stay in the book. Can I get an amen? Amen. 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 I'm going to do my best to win your people to the Lord. Amen. And take them to glory when the trumpet sounds. Amen. And then, praise God, we'll find out who's in the book and who ain't, brother. Say, preacher, you're crazy, but I believe what I'm preaching. Amen to you. It's the truth. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. You can stand and have victory. But I've got news for you. It gets lonely if you're going to stand. If you're going to live for Jesus, it'll get lonely before this life gets over because there ain't going to be many to be with you. Say, so preacher, I'll stand with you. We'll find out. Yep. That's what I tell people. They say, I'll stand with you, preacher. It don't make no difference. We'll find out. When the day comes, amen, and the whole world's turned against us, praise God, where are you going to stand in? Huh? You're going to stand with one old lonely preacher proclaiming Jesus? Or will you go with the multitude? It's a coming. There's a day of coming when it'll, when it'll show, amen, it's a coming in this county, and it's a coming quick, and you'll understand what I'm saying when it comes. But we need a revival, amen. But now listen, what he said, amen, he said they've forsaken me. And all the people wanted to do, Pete, was to be like everybody else. Amen? Just be like everybody else. They wanted them a king so they could be just like everybody else. Amen. Well, I don't know about you, brother, but Dave Lyles don't want to be like nobody else. Amen. Amen. Matter of fact, I stick out like a sword from everywhere I go. Amen. I can't fit in because I've got the blood of Jesus upon in my veins. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. And He'll separate you. Amen. I feel out of place. Amen. So preacher, you're crazy. Lord of God, somebody knows what I'm talking about. Amen. 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 I'm going to preach a little. 
I'm going to show you something. What's important to you? I think about this all the time. What is important to you? I look at these kids and I, I, I think about what God showed me before I ever took this church to pastor. They're part of the reason I'm here. The young people. I'm not saying the older people, that's not why I'm here. But God showed me these young ones, sister. Amen? You older people ought to know better than some of this junk. Can I get a list of all of Can I get a name man? Now come on with me. Stay with me. I ain't throwing off on you. I'm just telling you like it is. Some of you old people, hey, older people, let me say that old say old people because I'm part of you now. Hey man, but praise God. I used to be part of the young ones. But I'm part of the older ones now. Now don't get offended, amen. But let me tell you something. You've been in this thing long enough to be steadfast and unmovable, amen. But who's going to teach these children in a world, amen? That's running from one side to the other. And they don't know what to believe. Who's going to stand for them? Amen. I made a choice. I'll be ridiculed and turned away from a lot of places, but I'm not backing up. Bless him, Lord. Amen. I'm going to preach a little. This is what they've done. And if you think I'm kidding, you can tell me that I'm joking. Amen? How many kids in Ice County sit in the congregation when the preaching's going on? Bless him, Lord. Tires me up. I promise you, there's some of these little kids right here can tell you more about the Word of God that's been to this church and heard it preached, amen, than most adults in Ash County. Amen. Can I get an amen? Amen. Huh? Come on. Say, preacher, you're crazy. You'll appreciate this, amen. This is what the Word of God said. Now, he told him to pro protest solemnly and tell them what kind of king they're going to get. You can have whatever you want. <laughs> If you want to live like the world, go on and do it. <laughs> That's your choice. But this is what you're giving up. What's important to you? Billy Joe, you got a little grandbaby. You got a son and a daughter in law. And I know they're important to you. So when that baby, praise God, wrote you that letter and she had to find out what was important to you and put every line in that letter, did you? To send it for her mom all to read. You're important to her. Amen? Everybody thinks this stuff that's coming in Ash County is a joke. There was people I used to work with, amen, praise God, when he's talking about bringing in the adult entertainment in Ash County, amen. One of them said, praise God, they got a little liquor, a little hoochie-coochie, ain't going to hurt them. Everybody laughed, thought that was a joke, Mike, but the preacher. So I thought there ain't no better time than the now to stand. Amen. Can I get an amen? And I began to ask them how many kids they had. And some of them had little girls, amen, about the size of this one, and teenagers. Well, I said, all right, praise God, you think it's funny now. I said you keep on a living like you're living and let it come into Ice County. You go ahead and lie. But I said when that girl gets up 18 years old and she thinks it's funny, amen, and when she goes to stripping for these old farmers, how funny would it be then, amen? What it became real then, amen? Can I get an amen? What you do and live, it'll cost them to bring it to your family. Amen. amen. I'm going to prove it to you. You're going to steal something from these children. Amen. Amen. Your little boy needs a daddy that's steadfast. Amen. No matter if your whole family turns against you, son, and you have to go against your flesh and you stand for Jesus for what's right. Praise God, He needs you. Amen. 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 My God, they need somebody. Amen. These young ones right here is going to need somebody. Who's going to be there? You know what they're going to need when troubles come, son? You're going to need somebody that can pray and have a prayer of God. Yeah. Amen? I ain't nothing, never been nothing, but if you ever need me in the middle of the night, my God, you pick up a phone and you call me. And if there's any way I can get there, praise God, I'll be there. You'll see, 
You look down the road, by the grace of God, you'll see me coming. Praise God, hallelujah. Say, preacher, you crazy. Hey, man, I've made my mind up. I don't care if nobody else goes with me. Hey, man, praise God, me and Jesus. We're going to make a difference. Hey, man, say, preacher, you can't do it. You know what the Bible teaches me? He said it myself. I can do nothing. But through Christ Jesus, who strengthens me, all things can be done. Amen. Amen. Now, listen. So they do it this way, preacher. I don't care how they do it. I believe I'll do it this way. Amen. 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 So you're crazy. I may be the meanest preacher you'll ever meet. But I won't lie to you. Amen. I love you enough not to lie to you. Now listen. And the Bible said, Amen. Now therefore hearken unto the voice. How I many protest solemnly unto them and shew them the manner of king that they shall reign over them. Amen? Don't you understand that who you yield yourself to be a servant of, to obey, you're a servant of that person, yeah. amen? Whether it's the devil or whether it's Jesus, whether it's modern day religion, and I'm going to tell you right now, it's of the devil. You can get mad at me if you want to, praise God, it's of Satan. What better place to deceive the people than right out of the sanctuary? Amen. Amen. Exactly. Right. <coughs> Bible says to beware. I got to preach. You better pray. I don't get in on that. We'll be here all night. We may be here all night anyway. Ain't halfway done yet. The Bible said, "Amen." And Samuel told all the words of the Lord unto the people that asked of him a king. And he said, This will be the manner of king that thou shalt reign over you. Now listen close. You want to be like everybody else? You go on and be like everybody else. This is what you'll get. You want to fall in with the modern day religion bunch? Huh? Do you a little bit of this and a little bit of that and fall right in there and soothe your flesh on Sunday morning to make you feel better? This is what's fixing to happen. I ain't saying that your children won't make mistakes. They're human. Amen. But the Bible said to train up a child in the way it should go and when it grows old it shall not depart from it. Can I get an amen? amen. My kids may make a mistake but it won't be because their daddy lived like hell. Amen? Can I get an amen? And it won't be because, praise God, that I've been wishy-washy. Amen. I promise you, you can ask my girls. And in the middle of the night, sister, I'm just as mean as I am here on Sunday morning. <laughs> ask my wife. I don't cut corners, do I, honey? Matter of fact, I'm a lot worse on mine, praise God, because I figure that's my responsibility. Yeah, brother. Amen. And if they miss heaven, then it's my fault. Can I get a little bit? I ain't playing, sister. You can ask them, praise God. They used to tell them the little girls that used to come with them. I wish the sister was here. She'd tell you. We'd sit down at our dinner table and we'd pray. We'd sit there and eat as a family and we'd talk. And you know what they'd warn their friends from? Don't ask my daddy nothing. <laughs> That's what they tell them. But am I telling the truth, huh? They say, don't ask my daddy nothing. He will hurt your feelings. Amen. Amen. Sometimes I hurt your feelings, but they kept coming back. Amen. Some of them still calls me. Some of these young ladies, they don't even belong to me and my wife. Still call me. There's one down in Raleigh at college, and you know she calls me on my birthday and our anniversary. Amen. And she'll say, Dad, happy birthday. She calls me Dad. Amen. She said, I love you. I never thought I'd ever have an impact on anybody's life. Now listen. And He will take your sons 
and appoint them for himself and his chari- for his chariots and to his horsemen and some shall run before his chariots. Yep. You want your family to be taken over by Satan? I've been in the battle for a lot of years, Brother Lester. And I fit bitter for these young people. Every time Satan would try to grab one, I'd try to grab it back. I'd say, Preacher, you're crazy. But you never read about little David? Watched over his father's sheep, and the Bible said there's a lion came and took one up. David said, I went and I took him by the beard. Yep. So I got that sheep back. Don't you ever read about Daniel in the den of lions? God closed the mouth of the lions. Huh? My God, brother. Don't tell me I can't reach them. Amen. Don't listen to the devil, brother. You're going to reach them. Amen. Praise God. Look out. Just be steadfast. You know what people want? Somebody that's steadfast. Amen. Sister, you know me for a lot of years and I'm always the same man. By the grace of God. Amen. You know I love you, Rick. You know my love. I pray for you. Praise God in the middle of the night. Didn't even know where you was at. You come to my mind. And I pray you're still alive, don't you? God's still got a reason for you to be here. Got to get it, amen. amen. Huh? Been in this thing a long time, brother. Now listen. And the Bible said, Amen. And he will appoint himself captains over thousands and captains over fifties and will set them to ear his ground. Amen. And to reap his harvest and to make his instruments of war and his instruments of, the cha- of his chariots. And he will take your daughters and to be confectionaries and to be cooks and to be bakers. And He will take your fields and your vineyards and your olive yards, even the best of them, and give them to His servants. And He will take the tenth of your seed and your vineyards and to give it to His officers and His servants. And He will take your men men's servants and your maid servants and your goodliness, young men, and your asses and put them to His work. And He will take the tenth of your sheep and ye shall shall be His servants, and ye shall cry out in the day because of your King, which ye have chosen you. And the Lord will not hear you in that day. Can I get an amen? You see, praise God, they... Consequences. Amen. Amen. What you do. Every day. There's consequences of what you give. Up just to be like everybody else. And I ain't gonna lie to you. It sure be easier just to go work with the crowd and be like everybody else. Mm-hmm. But it seems like I find myself bumping heads with everybody. I ain't had a fellow that's persecuted at one time for standing on the word of God. I had a preacher to tell me I deserved everything I got because I was too hard headed. Mm-hmm. Amen. All I can say is take it like a man. Being a Christian ain't easy. But it's the best walk I've ever walked. Amen. 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 Being a Christian ain't the most likable thing in this world. But I've still got people that love me. They still a few, praise God. They still a few still like old day like say, man. Huh? Praise God. <laughs> There's a little picture fell off my sun visor today. I was telling Jeff about it. Little Carly Hams wrote me a letter one Sunday morning and it said, I love you, preacher day. And on the inside there was two bicycles and two stick people on them bicycles. And she had a goatee drawn on the one that's behind and she had preacher day wrote over it and Carly Ham on the other. Amen. She prays for me. I've made a difference. Say, preacher, you're crazy. That little brown-eyed girl may live to be a hundred years old, but she'll never forget that crazy preacher that loved her. Amen. 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 You think about it, brother. We ain't always going to be here. That younger out there won't forget the preacher. 
You think she's going to forget coming to my house? You think these young ones right here going to forget making a mud hole in the back of the barn? <laughs> Amen. Huh? You think little John Cole is going to forget sister if he lives to be a hundred years old? About playing in the rain till his britches fell off. Amen. <laughs> Can I get an amen? amen. Huh? Amen. I'm talking about he played till he was so muddy his pants wouldn't stay up and they just fell off and he just kept a playing in his underwear. Amen. You see, that's the glory of God. He didn't know nothing. He pure. Amen. amen. Right beyond the God. Hallelujah. Make a difference. Amen. Teaching them that it's not a man, a burden to be a child of God. The Bible says it's joy, unspeakable, and full of glory. Amen. Amen. Yeah. I find it a joy yeah. to serve God. Amen. Amen. Hey man, so they preach you crazy. <laughs> the Bible says it's a way of a transgressor that's hard. Amen. Hey man. I may be in there. But I'm here to tell you there's a whole lot at stake. You see, you can be like everybody else. I've heard just a short week. <laughs> I get so excited can't hardly stay. I get calls from everywhere. I still love you. I heard somebody don't like me because they said I stood and said I seen Jesus. I see Jesus every time I look at you. Amen. And there's one don't like me because I carry a bottle of oil in my pocket. Amen. Bless him all. Huh? You know what I told him? I said it's a shame that a man of God has to carry his own oil. In case somebody needs to be anointed. Can I get an amen? amen? It's a shame that the churches have quit believing the Word of God. Amen? amen. Woo! The Bible said if you're ashamed to confess me before man, I'll be ashamed to confess you before the Heavenly Father. Amen. Can I get an amen? amen? Honey, I may be crazy and they may not like me, but I'm not ashamed of my God. Amen? Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. And I'm not ashamed of what I believe. Thank you, Lord. Now you've got a choice tonight. You've got a choice to make. Brother Jim said, I've already made my choice. <coughs> you know what? God's going to bless you, brother. Amen. You know why? Because you chose Jesus. I tell my girls all the time, I don't know if they always do this or not, but this is what I've told them ever since she's a little girl. If you've got a choice, choose Jesus. And if the world don't give you a choice, choose Jesus. Amen? Whatever you choose, make sure it's Jesus. Can I get an amen? And you cannot go wrong. And if you're living by the book, I don't care what people say about you. You've got to be right. If you're on the rock, you've got to be right. Amen. Say, preacher, you're crazy. If you believe the book, you've got to be right. Can I get an amen? amen. And I'm going to hush. I may be one of the craziest fellows I've ever been, but amen, let me tell you something. When I wake up with something on my mind, I know, praise God. Amen. I, I just, I can't explain. Absolutely can't explain. Can't explain how I felt today. Huh? My soul has run wild all day. I have got a little more compassion for that little horse that I've been riding. Amen. I know how he feels. So you're crazy. I know how he feels. He's a wanting to run away and I'm a holding him back. Amen. <coughs> Same way that I felt today. I'm just wanting to fly. Amen. And God is holding me back. Amen. So just hang on. Amen. There's something coming. You don't want to get to run and miss it. Praise God. Amen. I've been so excited I can't understand. I've been afraid. He's good coming. Say, preacher, you're crazy. You make the right decision. You stand for Jesus. I don't care what. People's going to make it hard on you, honey. You think you didn't make it hard on me? Let me tell you what they've done to me. I got saved on Friday night. Alcoholic. There wasn't many days you'd come to my house and I wasn't drunk. 
So you ought to tell our young people that somebody better tell them his victory. Amen. Amen. I'm telling you, praise God, leave that mess alone because ain't no good can come out of it. And on Saturday evening, there's a young man I used to drink with all the time. Come to my house, had a case of beer in his car, and he jerked out a big carton of beer and threw it on my hood in my car. He said, here, get you one. I said, I don't want it. He said, you got drunk last night, didn't you? He said, you're sick. This will help you. You ever notice that? That's the way a drunk fixes yeah, it. If you're sick, get drunk again. <coughs> Kill a cure. I said, I don't want it. He said, what's the matter with you? I said, I got saved last night. And that man laughed at me, brother. Laughed out loud. And he looked at me and he said, how long will that last? Well, I said, I'm not sure about this thing. But I said, according to that man that preached last night, what Jesus gave me will last for eternity. Amen. 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 Huh? Amen. Sure. I've been on this thing a long time, make me brother. Amen. Been on the way a long time. And I ain't always been what I should have been for Jesus. But I ain't never been the same. Been a preaching almost 20 years, bro. Mm -hmm. You ought to see that old boy's face. Huh? Mm -hmm. He still ain't figured out what happened to that alcohol. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Amen. But all he knows is, praise God, something happened. Can I get an amen? amen. These people watching you, child of God, mm -hmm. don't be like everybody else. Oh, Make your mind up. Say, preacher. Ain't it hard? You ought to just stand with me sometimes. I tell people all the time, if I could, I'd be in it, but it ain't my word. Amen? It's the Word of God. And it's forever settled. And I promise you, it'll help you if you live by it. Amen. I'm going to hush. Amen. Somebody get you a song. If you need to pray tonight, this altar is always open. Amen? If you're here tonight and you're not saved, you want to be saved. I can help you with that. I tell people all the time, they say, Preacher, you know all I want is to win somebody to the Lord. Just to lead somebody to the Lord. To convince somebody that what I've got is better than what the world's got to offer. Amen. 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 Told a young man he used to drink with a long time ago, brother. Hey man, he said, what's the matter with you? I said, you ought to drink what I'm drinking. <coughs> You ought to get you a taste of this and I promise you, you'll mow down that stuff and you'll come go with me. I promise you that. So preacher, you crazy. You ever taste the best that God's got, this world woo, won't taste the same. Can I get a amen? amen? Hallelujah to the Lamb of God! Amen. You see, it's your choice. The grace has already been brought to you. Like a preach Sunday. And even the measure of faith has been given to all mankind to believe. He said the word of faith is nigh thee. The word that we preach is nigh thee even in thy mouth. And if thy will confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that God raised Him from the dead, He said thou shalt be saved. And the Bible said Amen. Whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Huh? Can you believe that? Can you believe that? He said, but what about believe? What about? He said, I don't know how to pray. There ain't nobody in this place knows how to pray. Huh? Say, so, I do. No, you don't. You're going against the book because the Bible said that we know not how to pray. But it's a spirit that intercedes through utterances and groans. It can't be understood. Amen. See, we can even pray without the Spirit of God. The prior got me in. I can tell you what got me in. Didn't know a thing about this thing. And I found myself screaming and crying out, God help me. So that's all you said? That's all it took. My heart was ready. Huh? I love you tonight, and I appreciate you. Everybody's here.
You don't have to be defeated. You don't have to be like everybody else. There ain't no satisfaction in being like everybody else. I've always been pretty much a, a nut anyway. If the crowd went one way, I wanted to make sure I could go the other way just to show them I could do it. Huh? You ever been that way? Have we got anybody in here that's hard to eat? Huh? Come on, and be honest about it. Come on. Praise God. I think every one of us just a little hard to eat. Huh? Amen. Brother, I don't want to be like everybody here. I want to have a mind of Christ. I want to be like Jesus. I want to be like the Word of God. I want to be able to help somebody. You see, this bunch is running after everything, bro. They can't help you. They can't help little kids. You ever thought about that? It takes the truth to set you free. Right? I'm going to hush, praise God. I just thought I needed to preach that. I don't know why. Praise God. You can you have whatever you want to. You can go with the people. Get your king be just like everybody else. But when your world falls apart, will God hear you? The Bible said He wouldn't hear you. <clears throat> Amen. This is the thing. I, I want I to say this and then we'll give us a song. I know everybody's been sick and everything else, but we're going to have church. I was a young preacher. I've learned the hard way, brother, for a long time. It's a man dying of cancer. And there's some preachers called me one evening and they said, David Life, we've been praying and there's a man sent home from the hospital dying with cancer and said he's lost. And said, we've all been to see him and we've prayed about it and said we can't get through to him, but we prayed and God said to call you and you go see him. You know, I was scared to death, brother. So I told him, I said, I will. And I went over and I went in and this man was sitting, laid in a <coughs> hospital bed and he just, just about to leave this world. And I walked in, I sat down and talked to him a minute, introduced myself and I told him, I said, has anybody been here to see you? And he started to cry. And I said, has anybody told you about this man called Jesus? And he just started to weep. And I said, has anybody prayed with you? And he just started to cry harder. And I said, if you don't care, I'd like to lead you to the Lord. And he said, there's no use, preacher. And I said, what do you mean? He said, I passed it up a long time ago. And he said, I can't get through. And I cried like a baby. And I tried to pray with him. And tried to lead him to the Lord. And the power of God wouldn't come. When I left that house, he was crying. Screaming out, lost without God. And Brother Eric, I got down the road and I got down in the ditch. I just stopped and got out and got down the ditch and I began to cry. I said, God has failed you. I said, I couldn't win him and I'm sorry and I'm, I failed you. I couldn't tell him, I couldn't get through, Lord. And the scripture came to my mind and this is what it said. God wrapped His arms around me, sister, and He said this in the Word of God. He said, I called, and you wouldn't answer. And He said, now you'll call, and I will answer. You see, He passed up His chance of salvation. Huh? Tonight, if the Lord is calling your name, do not pass it up. You can't be saved without God. Huh? Can I get an amen? amen. I don't know why that come to my heart. But you see, I thought I'd fail God. I can't handle it, brother. And I don't know if he got saved, he died. But I know I've done my best. If you miss heaven, then it won't be nobody's fault. Because when God's calling, you need to answer. I tell people all the time, don't wait till you get home. My God, if God's calling you tonight, you need to pray tonight. Amen. Same way with you, child of God. And I'm going to hush. Get you a song. You girls got you a song. What you see before you Listen. I've not you need to pray. always been. I once was so broken Listen. and battered My God, can't by you you need to pray. The story that I tell you is such a marvelous thing. 
Can't you feel it? Listen. Yeah. Come on. Come on. Do you need to pray? Say, preacher, you crazy. Amen. I believe in giving everybody a chance and an opportunity to talk to Jesus. Amen. And he gave me everything. Oh, he found a bigger. Come on. Thank you, Lord. You know what will open the windows of heaven in your life? Being honest with God. Yes, man. Amen. Come on. Is there somebody else need to pray? Come on. Should ask for me and my house. We'll serve the Lord. Amen. Praise God, bro. There will never be a greater than how Jesus loved me. Whoa. I prayed for riches, the rest of my soul. I gave him the pieces and he made you know what I explain to people all the time? The Bible said the Lord told them, He said, I know what you have need of before you even ask. People's got it in their mind that they have to explain things to God when God knows it all. Can I get an amen? Huh? Praise God, bro. He said, my life was as an open book toward God. Amen. Praise God tonight. Anybody else need to pray? I thank God for steadfastness, brother. I thank God for the Spirit of God. I'm thankful that I'm sitting among people that's got their mind made up. Amen? I don't know what tomorrow holds, but I know who holds tomorrow, brother. Amen? Amen. I can see you growing. The greatest reward of any preacher or any pastor is see people growing in the Grace and the knowledge of the Lord and the Savior. Amen. I thank God for each and every one of you. Make a difference. When I'm gone, Brother Jamie, make a difference. Carry on, brother, and tell people just what God's done for you. Huh? So preacher, you crazy. I know. I think I ain't the only one that knows it, but I I'm thank God for what God's done for me. Amen. Oh, in the name of Jesus. We're going to get us a song. We're going to fellowship. I don't know about you, but I feel like I've had church. Amen. I'm going to look for the glory of God. Amen. This thing's fixing to happen. Amen. I already feel it. We're going to get us a song. We're going to fellowship. Praise God. I thank God for everybody that's here tonight. Amen. I thank God most of all for God coming by. Blessing us, amen. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Mingo, I'm going to fast today. I'm going to fast today.
Oh, wow.